All right, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Guap Cinemac in with another episode of this Franklin's Millionaire Empire, and this is actually gonna be a little bit of a quickie because Simeon done goofed up. Let me tell you how he goofed up. You wanna know how he goofed up? He actually told me just now after I got done delivering all of those Lamborghini Revoltos, right? I, we delivered four of those last episode so we can get ready and get all these Lambos delivered to the Lamborghini dealership down by the beach. So, you want to know what he, I got off the phone and just told, and what he told me just now? That they just dropped off three or so Lamborghini Tamarios down by the docks. That we have to get prepped and then we have to get it shipped to the dealership right now. Because the deal, the cars are going to get sent to the dealership. We're actually tasked with uh, getting the cars to the dealership today. So it has to be done today. So now I have to make a couple calls and make sure that we actually have a ride so we can get not only the Tamarios to this dealership to get prepped, but also in time so we can have all the other ones, all the other Lambos delivered over to the dealership as well. Now, I did make a decision on which Lambos that I want Franklin to take home. Now, obviously the vision is off limits. This is a one of one right here. Literally, this is a one of one. There's no way we can get one of these even if we wanted to. The Euros, we already have two Euros Performantes. Now, I am eyeballing the Huracan Performante right here in this sky blue. And I'm also eyeballing this green Revolto right here. Either that or the orange. Now, I'm tempted to go with the orange, but I really want to go with the green. So, we're going to have to make a decision. So, I feel like that we're going to make a decision one way or the other. I'm already dead son on this Huracan Performante. This one is coming home with me. So, I'm going to have to make a choice between the green Revolto or the orange Revolto. So, anyways, we got to hurry up and call our ride over here. We're going to call these people over here so we can actually go down to the docks and get a, and get these cars over here so then we can go and deliver these all these Lambos over here to the beach so we're actually going to be able to test drive a lot of these so I'm actually excited for it I actually really am so anyways and matter of fact speak of the devil there goes our ride right there now if this dude this is the same dude actually this is the same dude that just drives in the middle of the street and he just he is all over the place with his driving so anyways let's head down to the docks and hopefully we can get there in time yeah right right over there and let's actually head out right now all right and matter of fact uh, you can actually put the pedal to the floor bro put the pedal on the floorboards like your Barney rebel the main reason why I don't like doing this is because he literally hits everything on the way over to the destination anyways let me um i also know that i have been slacking a little bit on videos and also if you guys are wondering what that noise is in the room that's my dog kylo yes i'm talking about you i'm talking about you baby girl you need to hush up that noise i'm actually over here working so anyways i still have yet to make a video on you by the way because i'm just enjoying all my time with you but anyways i heard y'all comments concerns and all that other stuff i know i haven't been uploading videos i'm gonna change that soon i promise so my goal is i'm actually gonna be recording back to back and then it's really just a matter of fact of editing so kylo i'm gonna need you to hush up so it's just a matter of fact of editing and all i just have to do is just get all these videos edited all at once and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna upload them in bulk so that way i have videos to drop and pretty much make public whenever they get uploaded that's it that's all Cause I'm telling you, this COVID thing with me last month when I was supposed to be streaming non-stop Delta Force, the beta is over by the way, which I'm kind of upset about, really, really threw off my schedule because I was supposed to make three videos around that time, then I got sick, then I was supposed to make two more videos, then since then, it's been nothing, it's just, I mean just nothing but bullshit in between. Anyways, I'm surprised, the dude is actually driving actually pretty decent actually. Oh, oh, there's a cop. <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say, some other dudes feeling that heat, bro. I'm about to say, for once, it ain't us. <laughs> for once, it ain't us. For once. But other than that, let me see. Um, It is currently 450. Uh, what is that? That's 450. That is... Yeah, that's... Uh, two. That's 250 uh, military time. I keep for, I keep getting mixed up on military time. 
Can, can you hurry up? Jesus Christ, he's over here Sunday driving. I'm in a rush. And then once I get these tomorrows, I'm going to put my pedals on the floorboards. I'm going to put the, um, my foot in the floorboards like I'm Barney Rebel. Because apparently so. Now, this isn't the official reveal. Now, the tomorrow did get revealed. Don't get me wrong. But I feel like that this was just like the a little taste of what the tomorrow is going to look like when it comes out. So, now, and if you guys didn't know, the tomorrow uh, for the Lamborghini lineup is actually the successor for the Huracan. The Huracan is officially retired. So, what they're going to do is, is that they're actually going to have the tomorrow be the successor for it. But instead of it being a V10, it's going to be a V8. Which I kind of don't know how to feel about that myself because Lamborghini already had a lineup. They had the Urus for the V8, they had the Huracan for the V10, then they had the Aventador or the Revolta for the V12. So now they have two V8s, the Tomario and the Urus, which the Urus is almost out the door anyways. Then they have the Revolta, which is the hybrid V12. Okay, hold on, so slow down, bro, slow down! Jesus Christ, bro, dang! Okay, but anyways, bro, can you watch when you're going? You not see the gray truck off in front of you, but anyways, uh, I don't know how to feel about it being a V8. I mean, honestly, some people might like it, but I don't know. I I always liked it being a V10. I'm so used to Lambos being V10, but anyways, I'm I think it's pushing some major power. Actually, I think they said, uh, what was it, 900 horsepower? I believe from a V8. A naturally aspirated V8 so we're gonna see we're gonna take this for a test drive oh matter of fact we got two of these okay so here here it is right here so we have one in the green that they revealed and then they have one in the yellow now the yellow honestly I'm not a big fan of yellow per se but the green actually looks pretty nice so we're actually gonna take the green one first and we got to get this delivered to the uh to this to Simeon's dealership ASAP that VA sounds nice actually. So, matter of fact, let's put the pedal to the floorboards. Okay, what I might have to do is I might have to turn traction control on for this. Alright, this one got a little bit of traction. I haven't played around with the handling just yet, but I feel like I'm gonna have to after this drive. This thing got some juice on it. I'm telling you that now. Here's an interior of it. Oh, this thing look nice. And for this being a V10 as well, dude. Also, shout out to IXK, IKX3, bro. He's the actual maker of this mod. And I was able to get my hands on it relatively early. A lot of people got theirs late. Okay, now um, I'm also going to have to tread very lightly because it's going to be a squeeze right here. Okay, this going to be a little bit of a squeeze. Come on, people. Alright, I'm going to go through here. I'm going to have to go through here just real quick. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut. Take a little bit of a shortcut. They told me to get these cars over here in a hurry and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, hold on, bro. Hold on. All right, I accidentally brought up my P PlayStation keyboard because of that. I got to figure out how to fix that, actually. Okay, where am I going to park? I have a dilemma now. Where am I going to park this thing? Um, Where am I? That's a good question. Where am I going to park this thing? Uh, you know what? Right here might be good. Right here might be good. We got to deliver all these cars over here anyways. So, actually, matter of fact, you know what I might do? When we deliver this, I might put the Huracan and the Revolto up to the, up to the side. So, we could actually take it home. I still need to debate on which color. I mean, does it matter? Does color really matter? Because I'm going to do something with the color down the line anyways. I already know. Alright, so anyways, that's the wrong phone. Uh, let me call these people up again, and then we can actually head over to the docks. All right, y'all, here we are. So here we are back at the docks. All we just got to do is just deliver this last Lambo, and then we're pretty much good to go. 
Now, after this, this random is gonna be a quickie. So, all I just gotta do is just drop off this last one. We might do it right around in this a little bit, just so we can get a feel of the car if we ever decide to get one for ourselves. But the inside of this car is detailed. It is amazing to me how IXK3 was able to get this car, or IKX3, I'm sorry. How I IKX3 was able to get this car in GTA this fast because they literally revealed this car like uh, like a couple weeks ago. I don't know how he was able to get this car imported to GTA 5, matter of fact, much less model, and then get into GTA this fast. Because I don't even think Forza Horizon or the crew or whatever people play these days even have this car yet. And I feel like I did a very good job with the engine sound on this car. I think I really did. Matter of fact, we're going to take this on a little bit of a test drive just real quick. This is straight away right here that I always like to do pulls on. This thing got some speed on it. I didn't do the gear ratios or nothing on this thing actually. So this thing already is pushing some speed. Alright, so I'm gonna go through here. Also, let me know how y'all are thinking. Should I actually get Franklin one of these, bro? Uh, get a Tomario? I, I already know. If I'm gonna have to get him a Tomario, it's gonna have to be in green. I already know. But I'm actually going to wait to see if they're going to update the design first before I actually go ahead and get him one. I heard reports saying that this isn't the official design. Are you kidding me, dog? He already went ahead and scratched it, bro. Okay, that's not good. Okay. Hold on. I keep forgetting. Hold on, let me turn the manual transmission off for this. Bro. Really, bro? Matter of fact, hold on, we can scrap right here. Hold on, bro. You want me to pull the glizzy out, bro? What you want to do? What you want to do? Yeah, that's right. That's right. What you want to do? Come on. You know how much this car costs? It ain't even on the road yet. Come on. Yeah, that's right. How much this car costs, bro? I mean, I can squabble still. It ain't nothing to me, bro. Now I got to get this car fixed. They can pretty much buff the scratches out. That's all. He didn't put no dents in it or whatever. Before I do... Well, I do work something along those lines. Also, speaking of which, remind me after when we get done with this uh, episode, or whenever the case may be, when we get done with these Lambo dealership drop-offs, bro, I'm going to have to collect on my dealers. It's been way too long. Plus, I need the money so I can pick up those, uh, pick up my Lambos and whatever. But before that, I'm thinking that there's a penthouse, actually. I've see, I seen a penthouse downtown that was for sale. So I want to check that out one of these days as well. And I heard it comes with a luxury executive six spot, six or eight spot garage. Honestly, that's why I might put my high end stuff actually. Let me come through here real quick and duck off into some of this traffic real quick and then it's just a straight shot to the dealership. Alrighty. And with that, we are officially here. Thank God. Simeon, he go ahead to get me in advance on this one. Matter of fact, I didn't even collect on the Revolto dealership drop-off. So, you know what? As soon as I get in there, I'm going to get my money. I'm going to get my money right here. Because this is about this is about 7 million in cars. About 7 million in cars. Probably even more. Who knows? Alright, so let me go in there, let's get paid for this, and then once I get paid for this, then we can drop off these cars at the dealership. Alright, so let me do this, some quick calculations real quick, a uh, one of one Vision GT, a, okay, four Revoltos, that is 725000 a piece, I believe, if not more, depending on how specked out they are so 725 that's times four that is around 2.8 million in cars right alone then the sto that is um give or take 400 500 thousand dollars on top of the i, I want to estimate this a four million dollar or five million dollar one of one vision gt so what is that already 6.8 million dollars 7.2 million dollars right there then of course four hundred thousand dollars for the two euruses right there that is already uh what's you call 
8 million right there, then plus another 725 for that Aventador that's over there, and then 200,000, obviously, matter of fact, that might not even count, actually, because uh, I'm going to take that home, plus one of the Robotos, then the Tamarios, which I believe is going to retail for like 500,000 a piece, I don't know, somebody correct me, but then, and then also the Huracan Real World Drive, that is around 9.5 or possibly 10 million dollars in cars, so I would say 200,000 is going to have to write me a check for 200,000. So, uh, let me see right here. I forget which menu it is. So, I believe it is... I forgot to turn action replay off. So, I think it is F4. No, it's not F4. Okay, yes it is. Okay, so, let's say 200,000 is an offer. So, yeah, we'll start with there because I already know another 200 or three... Uh, like, I'm going to pay, like... Almost a million dollars for the Revolto and the Huracan Performante over there. So, um, I think that's fair. Dropping off all these cars and all that other stuff. Plus, this is just for the Tamario and all the other Lambo uh, deliveries as well. Then, then I have to get paid for dropping all these cars off to the dealership. So, uh, we'll discuss the payment after I drop these off. But it is currently, what is it? Hold on, let me bring up my phone. My iPhone. It is currently three o'clock. We got time. So in the next episode, I'm gonna be dropping all these off. Matter of fact, I might just keep recording off this and then we are gonna drop it off right here and now. So anyways, we gotta get these all dropped off. Matter of fact, which car should I even drop off? Matter of fact, I think I made my decision. Okay, so the Huracan I'm gonna get. So matter of fact, let me put this to the back because ain't nobody having this. This is mine. This is mine. I'm gonna put this in the back and then I'm gonna say I'm probably gonna take the green revolt so I think that's what I'm gonna do and then the other cars that's on the dealership lot is still right here so I'm gonna park the Huracan right here this is what I'm gonna be picking up and then um, I'm just gonna sign the paperwork and put the deposit down I'm paying cash for this I might have to stop up at the stash spot and get the money for this okay so anyways uh, let me get the green revolto. I think the green revolto is what I'm feeling the most right now. And if I want to paint it orange eventually down the line, I can do that. Because I know for a fact that I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna paint it whatever color anyways uh, when I feel like it. So I think green right now, and then I'm gonna probably get some four giottos for this anyways. Okay, the green revolto. Let's put this in the back as well. Okay, so with that being said, doors go up and it's gonna come down. All right, so here's my two babies. I'm, I already know what I'm gonna do with this Huracan anyways. So I'm actually excited for the Huracan because I actually have an idea what I wanna do to it. The Revolto, I'm just gonna keep just a half and this is gonna be my executive high roller car. So, and I believe Franklin has one of these. I believe, but I don't think it was the Revolto. I think it was like the Santanario. Because it was like a concept of the Santenario, which I believe is the basis for the Revolto. So, anyways, I'm going to get these cars all dropped off and all this other stuff. And I don't know how I'm going to do this, bruh. But I'm actually going to get these cars dropped off. We got to, got to get the paperwork all signed and everything. So then we can actually get the go-ahead and let Lambo Lamborghini at the beach know that we're dropping off these cars. So, uh, we might have to get the tow truck for the Vision. But we'll see. We'll see. So let me park this up. But with that being said, bro, this is gonna be a quickie episode for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what y'all think of the Tamarios, bro. I'm actually feeling this. Even though I prefer the Huracan better. But it's the new age of Lambo. And honestly, it's looking pretty good to tell you the truth. They already have a good lineup. So let me know what you guys are thinking about the new Lambos um, in general, not just in GTA. And then uh, we can get the discussion popping. But anyways, I got to get the paperwork all signed so we can get these cars delivered. And then we, I can go collect on my dealers and joyride in some other cars. And I'm out, bro. I'll catch you on the next one that's going to be recorded right after this one. Peace out, y'all.